Today we're going to do a camera test between the OnePlus 3 and the Galaxy S7 Edge. Both of the cameras are mounted to the same rig, so they'll be held equally as I'm walking around. I will also keep all the settings on automatic, and I'm using the stock camera apps, so the comparison will be fair between the two of them. I'm going to need your help to decide which camera is better, the Galaxy S7 Edge or the OnePlus 3. I'm going to leave a poll up in the corner of this video so you can vote at the end of the video. And you can also leave your opinion down in the video comments. We'll start off in 4K, then we'll drop down to 1080p to see if the image color or stabilizing is any different at that resolution. We'll do the front facing cameras and we'll also go into slow motion. So we'll test every aspect of the video camera on both phones. Make sure to pay attention to things like the color quality, the resolution, the image stabilizing, the white balance, everything. Let's get started. So right now, both cameras are shooting in 4K. Both cameras also have OIS image stabilizing, so the camera itself is compensating for the motion as I'm walking, which is pretty cool. It's not an electronic stabilization. It's an actual physical image stabilizing. So I'm walking right now. I'm gonna try running. Still shooting in 4K. Both these cameras are shooting in 30 frames a second right now. Before we get started with the walking front facing camera test, I just want to thank everyone who subscribed to my YouTube channel. 200,000 subscribers is phenomenal. When I first started making Jeep and motorcycle repair videos four years ago, that number wasn't even on my radar. So thank you so much for watching. Let's keep going. So this is the front facing camera on both the Galaxy S7 Edge and the OnePlus 3. The OnePlus 3 is going to be shooting in 1080p. The Galaxy S7 Edge resolution is a little bit higher. It's Quad HD 1440. We can also check the white balance and the depth of field so you can look back on the path behind me and see how far back the quality goes. With enough leaves like this, it's also nice to see what kind of bit rate we're working with. I'll have the bit rate listed up in the top corner as well. Bitrate is basically the quality of the image inside of the resolution. So having a higher bitrate is a good thing because there's more information there. And if there's lots of leaves and like detail in the background, it's using more of that bitrate. Obviously YouTube is going to compress it a little bit, but you know, we can still see an equal comparison between the two cameras. Even though the Galaxy S7 image is bigger, that doesn't always mean better. The image quality could be way better on the OnePlus 3. So it's important that you guys let me know what you think and how it looks on the screen you're watching on. Whether it's an IPS display that you'd see on an iPhone, a regular computer monitor, a CRT monitor from way back in the day, or an AMOLED screen like we see on the Samsung phones. It's gonna look a little bit different on every single one of those. So here's the 1080p walking test. Both of these cameras have OIS, image stabilizing, optical image stabilizing. The Galaxy S7 also has an extra layer of stabilizing that isn't turned on at the moment. It's EIS, Electronic Image Stabilization. Sometimes it warps the image. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to turn on the EIS for the Galaxy S7 Edge right now. So now the EIS on the Galaxy S7 Edge is enabled, so it's got dual layers of stabilizing, where the OnePlus 3 only has one layer of stabilization. Get a little sun flare in there. One more slow pan in 4K. One thing that I really like about filming in 4K is that there's a whole lot more pixels to work with and you can zoom in on things that you normally wouldn't be able to see with 1080p. It gives you a little more space to work with. We're going to come up here to the sky, we're going to find some clouds to look at, just some over here. It gives you a good indicator of the white balance. You can check out the contrast between the white clouds and the sky. Hopefully there's not too many focus issues with the different phones. 
Remember, I need your help to decide which camera is better. Make sure you comment after watching the video. So keep in mind that there is a huge price difference between these two phones. The OnePlus 3 is the cheaper flagship killer, and the Galaxy S7 Edge is pretty much, you know, the top of the line most expensive phone on the market. So right now just pay attention to the color reproduction on both phones. So I've had this bike for a while now, and about three years ago, I took this rear tire and sprayed Never Wet. It's a hydrophobic spray around this side of it. So you can see that this side is still white even after three years of use, and this side is black because of all the brake dust from the calipers and the brake pads. It's kind of interesting. I mean, this will clean off pretty easily, but that hydrophobic spray is pretty interesting. I never finished the video because I hurt my back and wasn't riding as much as I thought I would. But now it's done. I can give my, uh, my rear rim a wash. Remember, it's super important that you leave your opinion down in the comments below, and you vote in the poll question up here in the corner, so we know which camera does better. I have tons of camera tests. We have the Nexus 6P, HTC 10, iPhone 6S Plus. You can watch this all day long. Please consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video. Hope to see you around.